for the next 90 days, I'm going to be running a video series where I'm going to be selling products and dropshipping until we reach $50,000 in sales. That means I'm going to be testing products, building websites, making money, and documenting it all until we reach that goal of $50,000, all without getting sued. Yeah, I think we might get sued for this one. Oh, and did I mention that I'm going to be starting this whole thing with only $50 to my name? Literally, I need to do this because when I was starting out struggling to find good products and trying to make money dropshipping as a beginner, I wish I had a YouTube series of videos like this one to show me the real behind the scenes process of making money online filled with all the ups and downs that no one ever talks about on YouTube. But not only that, also to show you guys that making money online is a real possibility and not a huge scam. Anyway, so let's get started on day one of our long journey to making money starting from almost zero. Okay, now because we're starting with no money, the hardest part of this entire thing is gonna be the marketing. I mean, any decent company spends millions if not billions of dollars on marketing every single year. And the fact that we're gonna try and start a business with absolutely zero dollars spent in marketing is literally just setting ourselves up for failure. I mean, marketing is literally the reason that most people who start e-commerce don't succeed. But we're just gonna have to go ahead and figure that out later. Because right now we've got another issue that we need to solve, figuring out what product we're gonna sell. After spending a couple of hours looking for a good product to sell, considering my online reputation was on the line, I needed something that was almost fail-proof. Some product that I could guarantee would work and make me some money. And so I decided to sell these AirPros. I mean, they look exactly like the AirPods Max, but they cost like 90% less money. I mean, if you think about it, like the best selling product of 2018, 2019, 2020 was any iteration of the AirPods from Apple. And these are kind of like a guaranteed winning product. I mean, because of Apple's insanely high prices, they've essentially created a market for people who might like wireless AirPods or wireless headphones, but they only cater to people who can afford those wireless headphones. And all these price sensitive sensitive and value shoppers end up not buying these Apple products and that just means Apple is leaving billions of dollars on the table and whatever reasons they have I absolutely don't care I'm simply gonna come up there and be an entrepreneur because I see a gap in the market people who want AirPods Max but can't afford them now that we had a clean product to sell we then spent the next couple of hours looking to start making a high quality website but the truth is the quality of the website was really not the most important part of everything. I mean, the people that we were targeting were price sensitive and value shoppers. People that were only interested in the value of the product. And so for us to make money and with the Pareto principle, we should have focused 80% of our energy into selling the value to our customers instead of building a great website. But I'm getting ahead of myself when I'm talking about marketing and value selling tactics. Before that, we need to think about something really important. Was this whole thing legal? And are we gonna get sued? Now, yeah, I'm sure you ask yourself, is this even a legal operation? Am I allowed to do this? Will I get sued by Apple? Well, for my sake, I hope not. But on my side, I'm not selling an Apple product. I'm simply selling a product that looks like an Apple product, but it's not the same thing. And I don't plan on marketing the product as a fake AirPods Max or fake anything. Actually, I'm simply gonna try and sell these headphones as like a pure standalone product. So they're kind of like something completely different. I mean, for example, there are phones that look like this, this, and this. I mean, these phones look exactly like the iPhone 14, but they're sold as a completely different thing with a much lower price. And that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with these headphones, selling them as something that is close to an AirPods Max, but not even the same thing. But just to be safe, I'm gonna run up the store up until we get to like a thousand, maybe five thousand dollars, and then I'm gonna take that money and go find another product because, yeah, I just don't want to get sued for anything more than five thousand dollars if it does come to that. After we made the website, it was time for marketing. You see, this is where we will make the most of our money. How we get customers to our website is really the most important part. And so, what was our strategy? Simple. We were going to be uploading TikTok and Instagram Reel videos as those have the highest potential of getting as many views as possible. And our viral strategy that was gonna blow us up, work hard. We were just gonna post about 100 TikToks, and if we didn't make any money, we would then have to move on to testing a different product. But the truth is, I knew that we were gonna make money from selling this product, and I turned out to be right. The only question wasn't whether I was gonna make money, but how much money I would make before Apple sent us a cease and desist letter to tell us to stop selling, 
these air pros. Yeah, so at this point, we've set everything up and we're waiting for our first sale to come through and see if we're gonna be successful or not. But this series was literally made for you guys to go ahead and follow along, for you guys to see firsthand what a dropshipping store looks like when it's growing to $50,000. So I want you guys to take action, copy me and follow along and do this for yourself. And if you guys are looking for more details on the building, the game plan, the principles that we're gonna be using over the coming weeks to take over and make the $50,000 goal, I'll be revealing that on this YouTube channel. But I will be honest, there's a ton of content, literally hours and hours of information. I've literally just updated my program and I've already put in three hours of information and I'm not even halfway done with showing you guys how to build this store and get it to $50,000. So if you want a step-by-step -step guide, me holding your hand to 50K, then yeah, my program will be linked below. But I'll be trying to condense as much of that information as possible and fitting it into these eight minute, 10 minute videos over the coming weeks. But let's get back into the video and see if you were able to get a sale. Now, obviously I, this is later, so I obviously know if you've made a sale or not, but I'm just, for, the, for us to progress the video, I just want to, Let's just see if we made a sale. Did we make a sale? Well, we kept making more and more TikToks, and some of the TikToks were simply not getting any views, while other TikToks were doing tremendous in terms of views. I got like 20,000 views, and as soon as I bought a thousand fake followers, I was able to put the link in the bio, and we immediately were able to make our first sale, which is massive. Even though our TikTok was blowing up and is looking like it might hit higher numbers next week, our Instagram reels are easily lacking, which is terrible because Instagram has a higher conversion rate than TikTok, so we need to focus more more on Instagram Reels for the next week. Speaking of the next week, check this video out to see how we did in week two of this challenge.